Faith is what makes real the things we hope for. It is proof of what we cannot see. Without faith no one can please God. Whoever comes to God must believe that He is real and that He rewards those who sincerely try to find Him. So faith comes from hearing the good news. And people hear the good news when someone tells them about Christ. You don't have enough faith, Jesus told them. I tell you the truth, if you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. Yes, God loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him would not be lost but have eternal life. I mean that you have been saved by grace because you believed. You did not save yourselves, it was a gift from God. We live by what we believe will happen, not by what we can see. So I am not the one living now, it is Christ living in me. I still live in my body, but I live by faith in the Son of God. He is the one who loved me and gave himself to save me. The good news shows how God makes people right with himself. God's way of making people right begins and ends with faith. As the scriptures say, the one who is right with God by faith will live forever. For every child of God defeats this evil world, and we achieve this victory through our faith. Then Jesus told them, I tell you the truth, if you have faith and don't doubt, you can do things like this and much more. You can even say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. I did this so that your faith would be in God's power, not in human wisdom. Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. You know that when your faith is tested, you learn to be patient in suffering. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. If you can. Said Jesus. Everything is possible for one who believes. Christ is the one who gives me the strength I need to do whatever I must do. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe, and shudder. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life, he who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. Trust the Lord completely, and don't depend on your own knowledge, with every step you take, think about what He wants, and He will help you go the right way. So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. Then Jesus answered, Woman, you have great faith. You will get what you asked for. And right then the woman's daughter was healed. God has given me a special gift, and that is why I have something to say to each one of you. Don't think that you are better than you really are. You must see yourself just as you are. Decide what you are by the faith God has given each of us. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved. But anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. But to all who believed Him and accepted Him, He gave the right to become children of God. 
the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, He will show you a way out so that you can endure. But the fruit that the Spirit produces in a person's life is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Jesus turned and saw the woman. He said, Be happy, dear woman. You are made well because you believed. Then the woman was healed. Trust the Lord completely, and don't depend on your own knowledge. The apostles said to the Lord, Show us how to increase our faith. Fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you, which you have declared so well before many witnesses. You have not seen Christ, but still you love Him. You can't see Him now, but you believe in Him. You are filled with a wonderful and heavenly joy that cannot be explained, your faith has a goal, and you are reaching that goal, your salvation. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have served the Lord faithfully. Yet we know that a person is made right with God by faith in Jesus Christ, not by obeying the law. And we have believed in Christ Jesus, so that we might be made right with God because of our faith in Christ, not because we have obeyed the law. For no one will ever be made right with God by obeying the law. Jesus answered, Have faith in God, the truth is, you can say to this mountain, Go, mountain, fall into the sea. And if you have no doubts in your mind and believe that what you say will happen, then God will do it for you. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? If anyone believes in me, rivers of living water will flow out from their heart. That is what the scriptures say. When someone belongs to Christ Jesus, it is not important if they are circumcised or not. The important thing is faith, the kind of faith that works through love. For the Word of God will never fail. We know that in everything God works for the good of those who love Him. These are the people God chose, because that was His plan. But you belong to God. So you should stay away from all those things. Always try to do what is right, to be devoted to God, and to have faith, love, patience, and gentleness.